What is up everybody, Bootman here, and we are back with another Marvel Snap video. And do you see, do you see this beautiful, beautiful card right here? Yes, that is correct. This is Ghost, all right? And today we're gonna take Ghost for a little bit of a, a little bit of a test drive in the one and only Magentris deck, all right? So in this video, I wanna discuss like, uh, the question I'm getting is like, should you pin Ghost? Should you buy Ghost? She's 6,000 tokens right now. All that kind of stuff. I wanna discuss why I wanted, I've wanted Ghost for months now. And we'll play a few games with Ghost in the Magentris deck because Magentris is one of the main reasons why I wanted Ghost, all right? But before we get started, if you're new here, hi, my name is Chris. I also go by Bootman. And if you love Marvel Snap and if you're into the competitive aspect, like ranking up the ladder, entering tournaments, all that kind of stuff, this is the channel for you. So make sure you subscribe. We just passed 7,500 subscribers. I made that the goal for the end of the month. So I don't wanna be too ambitious, but help us hit, I don't know, like 7,750? 8,000 would be dope, but 7750. But yeah, subscribe. We do all sorts of cool stuff. Uh, we have an awesome Discord server down below. We do contests and giveaways. Right now, I'm in the middle of a Build Me a Shadow King deck giveaway. We have four finalists. And quick update on that. I'm gonna get back to the last two decks tomorrow. I don't wanna hinder those decks with the current hot location of the Quantum Realm. Like, that's not fair to anybody. So we're taking a break. That deck is just, I mean, that location is just too wild for any deck to really succeed. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna test out Magentris. And I also do monthly giveaways for the season pass. We give away three season passes every single month, but you gotta be subscribed and you gotta follow me on Twitter at BootmanMSTZ. My Twitter is linked down in the description below. All right, so let's get to it. Now, first things first. So this is Magentris, those of you who don't know, and before you ask, down in the description, I made an entire video of replacement cards. So if you say, I don't have Crossbones, I don't have Mysterio. All right, Magentris, totally pull three. Go do your thing, all right? I have that down in the description, so don't you dare leave a comment. Last time I did this, somebody left a comment. I'm like, oh man, I said it at the very beginning, but I forgive you, all right? But anyways, so Magentris has gotten me to infinite multiple seasons. Uh, I, I use her, uh, or not her, but uh, the deck, I call it a her, uh, because it primarily centers around like Enchantress magic, but also just tech cards in general. Um, some of you might be familiar with the Sarah Control deck, right? Uh, people say this is very similar. I like to use magic instead. I've discussed this at length. Magic breaks people's brains. They don't know what to do with seven turns a lot of the time. It's really, really interesting. I don't know why, but it just messes them up. So this deck is uh, very reactive, right? We're playing off what they do. We take things out with Shang-Chi, with Enchantress, with Killmonger, all sorts of stuff. You also got Captain Marvel in here who could fly into other lanes, locked locations. Um, all sorts of good stuff, all right? But I've wanted Ghost because I cannot tell you, I cannot tell you how many games I've had to retreat from because I had priority, right? Like I am punished for just dominating the entire game. And that's where Ghost comes in. Ghost is an ongoing card. Your cards are always revealed last. So that way, if I know they're dropping something huge and I know I can Shang-Chi it, or I know I can Enchantress it, whatever it is, right? I will not have priority. Now, the question is, what do you replace? So this position right here has kind of been like a flex spot. The original Magentris had Angela in right here, okay? So um, eventually I put in Black Widow, I can't remember why, but then I ended up liking it a bit more. Um, so I put in Black Widow, so now we're gonna swap Black Widow out, toss in Ghost. All right, so we're gonna play a few games. Right now, Quantum Realm is still the featured location, so this can go either way, but a lot of you, like I was streaming last night, and everybody's asking and stuff, I needed some content to do today. So I'm like, you know what, YOLO. Let's do it. And also, if I'm being honest, all the games I've played today, I'm like never getting the Quantum Realm. So maybe we'll get lucky, all right? So let's jump into a few games. Yeah, but uh, I've mainly been playing that Thanos deck that I made a video on yesterday. Oh my Lord, first game is District X. Okay, well, we got Ghost. <laughs> we got Ghost and we got Galactus. <laughs> so, <laughs> sick. Um. Yeah, the other thing too is though, I wonder I wonder if Killmonger still has a place in here if we have ghosts, because we don't really have anything to protect. You know what I mean? Oh man, we just turned Galactus into a 2-6. 
Like, this might just be a silly goose game. This might just be silly goose game, okay? So, I wonder if this person thought District X gave me ghost. All right? I could drop Galactus whenever. I was like, should I drop Galactus now? Oh, man. Oh, man. I could do some silly stuff right now. Like, I can Killmonger my stuff, Galactus over here. <laughs> what do I want to do with this? This is just, like, this is probably a loss, but, like, I don't even know. All right, here, let's do this. Let's do a Falcon. All right. Oh, my God. And I got a Miles. I got a Miles from it. What do I want to do? Hold on. Wait, right, let's sequence this a little bit different. Let's save, let's save Miles. Maybe this is what I do. Oh, but Miles, he'll go back up to a two, huh? Yeah, they're gonna have no idea what's going on. And they're just locked on to Zabu, so we're both we're both going crazy with this one. <laughs> It's time. Watch this. Watch this. Nice. Are they going to have priority? All right. Let's just hope our last card is bigger than whatever they have in their hand. Oh, crap. Never mind. I forgot I put the Killmonger out. <laughs> I can't even believe I'm leaving this in the video. But hey. Now, the question is, do they have something bigger than whatever's about to pop up? Dazzler. Can they beat 11? <laughs> Ghost, baby. Ghost in the Magentris deck. All we do is win. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Real game time. All right, so we don't have any six, uh, six costs in here. So... We're gonna try to Magantris or Magic that. But yeah, I'm really questioning Killmonger now. So like, because like, there's not as many Zoo decks. Like when Zoo decks are out there though, it is nice. But Killmonger is also just like a second option to take out our Nova and Hood. So I'm gonna have to think on that. Oh, well, it looks like we're not going to be taking that out. Are they running Galactus? If they are running Galactus, they're going to have to go here. So I might as well beef it up because they might do like a green goblin or hobgoblin or something silly. Oh, okay. No. Oh, I just moved that guy. Hmm. This killmonger is going to bother me.
think I'm gonna do that. Just spread out power just a little bit because I'm doing magic right here. Magic has five. Okay. Maybe I replace Killmonger with like an absorbing man, right? But then cost reduction would be really good. Like maybe I just need to start running the <laughs> Sarah control. <laughs> Okay, so, when you have a Mysterio late game and a Captain Marvel, drop your Mysterio first, okay? You listening to me? Okay, so, I'm thinking we go for this lane. We do this. We do this. And then we see what happens. I should have dropped Demon to the right. I was originally dropping Demon to the right and I couldn't think of why I was thinking that. And now I remember because I didn't want to clog this lane. Okay. So this is why I hated Surfer. This right here is why. Look at this. Six. He has 20 power here, and Shang-Chi does nothing, right? Oh, so this is actually 13, right? Wait, so this 13, if I add six there, that doesn't do anything. That takes me to 19. I put you here. All he has to do, because he, he's got to know that I can't do anything about this. So that is a retreat. I Let me see. If I would have dropped the demon over here on the right. Yeah, then I could at least Shang-Chi middle, you know? So that was that was a dumb dumb move on my part. I, I was I was gonna drop I was gonna drop the demon to the right. I don't know why I didn't. Like what is what's happening? I haven't played Majantris in a while. That's what it is. Because I, I always just leave three cards in each lane so um Captain Marvel can whoo, do her thing. But even though I'm about to jinx it, like you all are seeing, I'm not uh pulling quantum realm, so that's that's kind of nice. But now one of these is gonna be quantum realm or quantum tunnel, right? Yeah, so are any of you seeing Ant-Man this weekend? So we were gonna go today, but my son ended up being sick, so we gotta reschedule. So we're probably gonna see it later this weekend, but I am stoked. Oh, let's see how this does against the Death Wave deck. Rickety Bridge. Oh, you love that Rickety Bridge, don't you? Don't you? You're just loving it. And the only bad thing about not having uh, Bishop out is because it's gonna be harder to drop crossbones. Saw that come in. Now, if we do get Ghost, if we do get Ghost in a Shang-Chi, this is gonna be perfect, right? Because we can um, we can tag their uh, their death. Or we can just get rocks in our hand. That'll be sick. Uh, yeah, they're not gonna be running. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna get some power on the board. They're not gonna be running an ongoing. Oh, speaking of Ghost. If I can get crossbones over here on the left, unless magic comes out, then I got a magic. The bridge maybe, but they might. The rickety bridge, it's such a, such a game of chicken, right? I get a Shang-Chi, we might be able to win this. Ah. 
Not today, Arrow. Not today. These rocks, man. These rocks. Boom! The chance was baby. Man, Subterranea did us dirty. I think it did them dirty too. They must have knocked out Wave or, you know, whatever. All right. Last game. You're not getting a full scope of what Ghost can do in this, but I don't want to play so many games. You know what I mean? But I might do it like a stream. I'll probably stream with her this weekend a ton. Nice. That's a good draw. That's a good draw. Now, Quinjet is about to go. Bye bye. Watch this. Oh, this is going to be nice, too. What would be awesome is if our Mysterio pulls a uh, a magic right here. Because they might be running Thanos. And if so... Hmm. They got our Captain Marvel. I'm not a fan of that. This might be like a dino deck or something. Oh, that sucks. So now I can't eat that. Um, whatchamacallit. Beautiful. Yeah, that's right. Be in awe. So what is this? So, okay, so check this out, right? The 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 illusions have the little fog, but like, is this, is this a real one? I don't think that's a real one. So I gotta save this. Yeah, I, this, this looks, yeah, this is like a Dark Hawk deck, clearly. But unless he puts Dark Hawk on the right, I can show and cheat that piece. Hmm. You jerk. Nobody likes you. Nobody likes you and what you're doing here. It is where it comes again, like, do I... I'll put you over here. Ah, uh, like, I don't want to clog up the left lane because uh, my girl might have to go. But let's see what they play. I still have a Shang-Chi. I have a Shang-Chi, a Killmonger, a Nova, and um, a, bunch, a couple rocks in my deck. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, come on, Shang-Chi. Come on. Come on, baby. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. I can't, I can't do much here. This is going to throw him off, though. I don't want to eat that. Wait, hold on. I have four, seven here, so that'll be six. So, yeah. We just got to do this and hope that um, after Marvel flies middle. And, oh, well, Captain Marvel can still fly middle depending on what they have. I have, what is that? Four, nine. Yeah, that might not be enough. That only hurts me. Yeah, if we had a little, uh, that's that's where Sarah comes in, right? But you would need Sarah and magic, right? Because like, I'm just trying to think. Because what would have been optimal is if I could have ran that Shang-Chi and Crossbones middle. You know what I mean? Like Shang-Chi on the left, Crossbones middle. Like we would have won that. Easy, you know? 
Huh. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think because there's there's some other there's some other decks that we could do with this, like the Bishbu deck that I'm thinking about. Here, as we wrap this thing up, I'll I'll talk you through my thought process. All right. But anyways, oh by the way, we're we were at 71 yesterday. We're at 77 now um, because of the Thanos deck. So that's a whole thing. So Bishbu which I completely demolished, right? Like, I, <laughs> this is not what it was. Uh, I turned it into, like, I was just like, I don't know. I was I, I was doing something one night. I'm like, hey, what if I did this? I started moving all sorts of stuff. But anyways, Bishbu has uh, a lot of counters and stuff. I, I put Valkyrie in for some reason and then goes. Something, something's here, by the way, right? Like this, something like this could work. But Bishbu drops a lot of stuff. Um, we still get the discount from Zabu. Uh, thinking about, yeah, yeah. But anyways. So something like this could work because we have the we have the absorbing man, we have the enchantress. You know what I mean? Uh, that nowhere really helped that last person because what was I going to do? I couldn't enchantress his stuff. Um, but anyways, there's something going on with like Bishbu, but yeah. So we need some cost reduction, and maybe it's not Sarah. Maybe it's just Zabu, right? That's what I was thinking. So does Zabu go in here instead of Killmonger? Will that be the key? Because then we can do all sorts of silly stuff on the last turn. On the last turn, we can do a Shang-Chi Enchantress or in that last one, Shang-Chi and Crossbones. That might be the play. But then, then we only have one way to get rid of Nova. That's, that's my concern. That's my concern, especially because they nerfed Nova down to a 1-1. One, one. So we do have a little less power, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking, let me know what you, your thoughts are down in the description below. But anyways, anyways, uh, once quantum tunnels over, once uh, we don't have a freaking nowhere sitting there on the right side while someone's running an ongoing deck, things will be a little bit better. But yeah, I'm gonna be playing a ton of ghosts. Get ready for ghost videos. So um, I mentioned a lot of people are asking me about ghosts. I, I've been getting it on Twitter. I've been getting it in comments. I, I got on the stream. Here are my thoughts on ghosts. For me, you gotta take a few things into account. One of them is I'm a quote unquote whale, all right? The money I make from the YouTube channel goes back into this game so I can test out new cards, new decks and stuff like that for all of you before you spend your tokens, okay? So that's one thing you gotta, you gotta consider. Second thing, my logic behind getting a uh, ghost, it fits my play style. I love tech cards, I love control decks, and in those types of decks, you do not want priority going into final turns, all right? That's just how it is. So Ghost really, really fits my play style, all right? So I think those are the two main things to consider. If you have the tokens, if Ghost fits your play style, go for it. If not, wait for it to drop to 3,000. It's a great tech slash utility card. Um, not a ton of people are running Killmonger anymore. I guess in the death, in the death wave decks, you know what I mean? So just take that into consideration. But other than that, I love this card. I'm so excited. Like so many of us, uh, content creators and stuff, and some other people I, I talked to on Twitter, we got ghosts and we're all just like, all right, we're waiting. We're waiting for the, <laughs> the uh, featured location to be over. But I've been like collecting so many different decks. There's gonna be there's gonna be some ghost content coming. And by the way, by the way, a lot of decks I'm gonna be trying, like ghost is gonna be helpful, but probably not necessary. All right, so just take that into consideration. Ghost, ghost, is gonna elevate a lot of decks. So in upcoming videos I do with Ghost, just know that Ghost is going to be replaceable, all right? Ghost is for very niche situations, but for those niche situations that have driven me nuts, like not being able to Shang-Chi something on the last turn or Enchantress, like it's gonna be very, very valuable. All right, so those are my final thoughts. Let me know your thoughts about Ghost down in the description below. I'm not sure why I switched screens there. But yeah, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. Ring the notification bell. Help us get to 7,750 subscribers by the end of the month. We have 12 more days because it's a short month. Or is it leap year or something? I don't know. Anyways, anyways, just hit the subscribe button, all right? Join our Discord server. Follow me on Twitter, at BootmanMSTZ. We do monthly giveaways for the season pass. We're doing cool little contests where people are building me decks and stuff. You don't want to miss any of the fun, all right? But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you next time.